Thank you. Thank you. Um, the process, you know, it's, it's been a good process, you know, just, um, uh, with with the with the negotiating period um opening up or the Fraser window opening up um just had some talks with Coach Jones and uh you know it was just just nice you know I told him he was the first person to have me you know so it just felt like at home with him and uh and with Coach McAdoo um so they just invite me with open arms and and you know it just feels good it just felt like at home. You had your best season in 19 under Stephen McAdoo as your offensive coordinator. What is it about his system and scheme that you think is uh, is best that, or that allows you to best utilize your skill? Uh, I just I just uh, feel like that we just had a good relationship and he he uh, had a good understanding of my skill set and you know just put me in in the best way as possible as, uh, for me to showcase my skill set. So I feel like because uh, McAdoo know me well and and I and I know him also. And uh, contributing on special teams too. Uh, how how much do you relish being a, a difference maker in the return game? Uh, it feel it feel good. All right, thank you. Oh yeah. Hi, Karen. Uh, you know, welcome. Uh, were there a lot of teams uh, in, involved in in the negotiation process? Do you know? I mean, uh, were there were there a lot of teams after your skills here? Uh yeah, um, it it was a couple a uh, couple more teams uh, after me. You know, uh, I I talked to Hamilton some in Ottawa, but um, just uh, end up talking to Coach Jones to make it feel like home. Yeah, I, I guess so. Hey, a little bit of familiarity never hurts. What, yes, what is it? What is it about him or or his teams? I mean, what, what gives you faith that that uh, somebody like Chris Jones can can uh, turn a team around that finished last place in the West Division last year? Uh, uh, just, just the, the way that they finished last year, the way that they finished last year and, um, you know, just, just knowing from coach Jones, uh, the way that he set up and had us run and had his team ran, you know, so, um, I like his coaching style and, and I feel like that, uh, he, he got a recipe to win and turn it around. Um. Uh the player they're looking to replace in the return game, Christian Salisbury. I, I can't imagine you, you had a chance to get to know him much at all. Did, did you follow uh, the, the tragic events of, of what happened to him in, in the off season? Uh, yes. Uh, I, I follow him. And it's, it's crazy because um, I went to Austin P uh, in college and his cousin and I are real close. Like we, we are real tight, you know? So I was like, you know, just a small world. Hey, I found out that that was his cousin, but um, I know I met him after the game, and you know he came up, shook my hand. My cousin was a little rotten, and you know um, I heard a lot about you, and you know he he had a very bright future, man. I, I hate that happened to him. Yeah, that that that's amazing. How how do you you describe your uh, uh, return abilities? Uh, any, anything like his? I mean, he he showed this team here in this town something that they hadn't seen here for quite a while. Uh yeah, I mean, I, I feel like that I can I can do some of the same stuff as him. You know, I I, I saw a lot of similarities uh, between us. You know, as I watched his game, so uh, I I feel like that I can I can also do the same. You know, uh, make some big plays and and hopefully uh, get something to the end zone. Excellent. Thanks for your time. We'll we'll talk in the spring. Yes, sir. Justin Dunk, go ahead. Hey, Kyron, I'm just curious what happened with the Riders when you found out that you might not be going back there. Did you have any negotiations with them about going back to Saskatchewan or what shook down there? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, we, we was negotiating, you know, they, they wanted me back. Um, you know, they uh, they they wanted me back. It, it wasn't nothing, nothing personal, you know. Uh, I think uh, they, they said the right things. I just I just felt like it was time for me to just, you know, see the new scenery and uh you know, see see what it's like on the other side. So there was a contract offer from the Riders to go back there? Oh, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what about your time with Cody Fajardo there? You guys started off, like, really hot together in 19, right? 21, it kept going. And then 22, for whatever reason, it didn't seem like it was to the same level. Like, how do you feel about Cody as a player, what he might have left in your time together in Sask? Uh, man, Co Cody, he he... he... For a period of time, we playing receiver. Um, Cody definitely been the best quarterback I played with. You know, uh, he, he's a warrior. Uh, he know how to win. You know, he loved the game. His toughness. Um, I, I think I think Cody has a lot left in the tank. You know, I mean, last year, you know, it wasn't his best year. Uh, it wasn't really the team best year. You know, 
But um, I, I feel like Cody definitely has a lot left in the tank, and uh, and I'm excited to see what he what he has uh, what he's going to bring to Tyree in Montreal. And you go to Edmonton; it's a really talented receiving core. When you look at all the names, obviously you included there, do you feel like it's the best receiving core in the CFL? Uh, you know, I, I guess on, on on paper it it like that we we can be pretty good, you know. So uh, I can't wait to get to get to camp and uh, you know, uh, mess together with the guys. And from watching from afar, what do you like about Taylor Cornelius and his skill set? Uh, the same, you know, just as uh, some some of the same stuff, uh, similarities I've seen with him and Cody, just, you know, how he he, he mobile with his legs, you know. Uh, I can tell you he got a bright future, um, bright future, you know, strong arm, you know, uh, and you, I feel like he can't, he can only get better from here. And what was it about the Elks that sold you on signing there over some of the other teams? You mentioned Saskatchewan and having conversations with Hamilton and Ottawa as well. So why was it the Elks in the end? Um, well, go, going into free agency, uh, my main thing was I wanted to go somewhere that I can I can be a returner. You know, um, where in says, you know, my first year there, uh, they I returned. You know, my first year uh, returned to to the. Uh, to the touchdown and uh, twenty nine and from twenty nineteen on, I really didn't get a chance to return unless you know somebody was hurt. So I felt like that I wanted to get back into the return game. And um, Coach Jones was really the only team that wanted you know uh, to let me return and said that I had a chance to uh, to return. So do you feel like being a part of the return game actually helps you get into a flow and benefits you on offense as well? Uh, oh, uh, most definitely, you know, because uh, I've been returning since I, I've been in college. Um, and that actually, I, I made All-American for it. But just re just by returning, I feel like, you know, it can be the first play of the game, you, you know, just get get that first hit, you know, just see how the game going to flow. And after that first hit, everything will flow, you know, smooth. Awesome, Garvin. Thanks for the time, man. Okay, thank you.